This community was evicted once before, when the Alcantara launch base opened in the late 1980s. Now they live just outside the base and fear further expansion. They have never consulted us. We've had no concrete information about it. We heard they were restating a negotiation that was initiated many years ago. Back in those days, we managed to block it. These people are Quilombolas, the descendants of escaped slaves, embroiled in a long-fought battle for land rights. The resistance we see today shows the so-called progress announced in the 80s didn't come. This project was a mistake from the beginning. When they say development, we need to know who will benefit from it. It's never been us. Some left behind more than their homes. Our ancestors are all buried in that region. After moving here, they don't allow us to visit their graves. We had a custom of lighting candles for them, but we can't do this anymore. They were left behind. Grass is growing over the graves. President Jair Bolsonaro has made it clear he won't allow indigenous and quilombola rights to impede development across Brazil. When the base opened, it symbolized progress not just for this historic backwater, but for the whole of Brazil. But it also brought dislocation and misery for many. Some welcome further expansion, while others fear their situation will only be made worse. US companies have long wanted to operate from the Alcantara base, since it's situated just 200 kilometers from the equator, making fuel costs much lower. But previous Brazilian governments were concerned about national sovereignty and prevented those attempts. The two presidents are mutual admirers and soon overcame the obstacles. The local authorities say all residents will be consulted, but some in this isolated region can't wait for the Americans to arrive, along with their investment. We believe this accord will bring great development to El Cantara. It will also benefit our tourism industry. This is a historical town that's not well known in Brazil, and we believe this is going to change. So far, people here only know what they've heard on the news from a distant Washington, D.C., and some are concerned they will again be victims of progress that doesn't include them. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera, Alcantara, Northern Brazil.